James is doing something different. Uh -huh. Others? What is the meaning of the word change? Uh -huh. To change yourself. That's good. Uh -huh. The others? Mean the change aspect of the life, aspect of the people's life. In my humble opinion, you know how I define it? I define it as such. Change is a word that made us all unite here. Change is a word that brought Umar al-Bashir to prison. Change is a word that made us know what our right is. And now here we are, gathering, knowing that one day we will come to our right. Is that right or no? Yes. And the military council will one day come to understand what the meaning of the word change is. Sooner or later they will have to do so. They will have to transfer the administration of the country to a civil um, government as soon as possible. And that's what we are all here for. Thank you so much for the wonderful speech from Mr. Sabal over here. So, I'm gonna uh, start by the same thing. So, how do you define change? So, I don't mean if someone considers to be a great change. I mean, if you look at yourself in the mirror, can you honestly tell yourself you have given everything to change? And if you know it, you can make a change, then make a change. Changes, changers win because they leave it all on the table. They tell themselves the truth. And then when it gets hard, as it does for every single one of us, they keep going. They stay and they fight, and they fight harder. And one day, they look back with pride because they remember those moments. Those moments where they had every right to give up, but they refused to accept defeat. And that, my friends, is what it is all about. Change is inside you. Unless you change, nothing can change. So you start by yourself, change yourself, and then you're gonna change the environment that surround you. So that's it. So, I'm gonna give the mic for Ms. Abdul again. As teachers, can you define such a, can you define uh, change? Um, really, good evening. Um, when we come to talk about change, um, really this is the nature of life. In life, every, everything changes. And uh, even human beings, when you was born or when you were born, so there is certain development stages that you have to go through uh, from childhood to teenager time and then to adulthood, then you will go and you will pass away. So this is the meaning of change. Uh, change from psychological point of view or viewpoint, it can mean that modification of behavior. Okay, so you can modify your behavior. If your behavior is bad, you try to change your behavior. You modify it so as to uh, change like that. So today, as teachers say that, we are here because we are for change. Okay, we saw the situation of Sudan is really bad. We came here to change. So we, that's we are for. Yeah. In addition. Uh, good evening everyone and thank you very much indeed for this chance. Actually, this is the first time for me to come here. I'm a member of uh, Sudanese Researchers Initiative, but on Facebook just. I haven't been on the ground, I haven't met uh, any one of these guys. And thank you very much for this chance and I do really appreciate the great uh, job and things that you have been doing here for enlightening the people and uh, getting them to be aware of what's going on and so on, uh, especially in English language. Uh, well, for me, change, uh, everyone defines change according to their point of view and according to their perspective. 
and for me change means doing things differently okay for example we are going to rule this country for the coming decades this is definite something definite i'm sure about that but how are we going to rule the country through different methods different means different ways we're not going to follow the same uh, x stops that the ex regime has done we're going to rule the country through democratic ways through peaceful ways through changing the, the the education for example system changing everything and by doing so we're going to bring change on the ground and we're going to make things differently and we're going to make new sudan new country for everyone and for every human being thank you very much a wonderful speech just here to make it simple so our topic today what do we need to change in sudan what do we need to change in Sudan? That's it, as simple as it is. Okay? Yeah? I say, of course, he is before you, okay? Yeah, yeah welcome. Welcome. Uh, suck is for all. Uh, I, uh, also, I sang is yours because I uh, took this, right? This is a uh, question and the. Uh, very enter for for them because they uh, uh, go to the difficult and uh, and seldom uh, topic. Uh, the king are uh, continue operations in your in the life. Uh, the Western world is a uh, is a uh, progress and be first all with the king because the king or all uh, things from the life and the industrial and uh, other things uh, look like the, the teenager and the 20s arches are uh, are changing the, the former uh, system former system of the general uh, the uh, changing and, uh, and uh, today they want to the civilian govern governance but the uh, military council and hesitant, hesitant want to uh, do not want to uh, to do this but the pleasure and the pacific protest can uh, can do uh, civil governance uh, yeah european and western country uh, uh, after after the darkness arches uh, with the change and with the uh, sense be the rise and be progress. Today the European and Western world are the, in the in the first and the lead all the all the world in any life and civilian and industrial and manufacturing and other. But, uh, so the change is uh, have uh, have multi meaning, not one meaning. Uh, change your life, change your behavior, change your mind, change any things. So you can use for from the king. So they are, they are found the, the positive or the negative king, negative king. Well, we want to aid uh, with uh, person or human uh, uh, awarded to uh, positive king. Uh, this is my speech. Uh, thank you for the chance. Thank you so much. The others. What do we need to change in Sudan? Doing modern things. Doing more modern things. And what? About make it nearer. Okay, make it nearer. Faster system. Uh -huh. Fast system. Uh -huh. The others? Uh, well, thank you very much indeed. Uh, good evening, everybody. Really, it is my honor, it is my privilege to stand in front of you. Uh, first of all, my name is Suleiman Mohammed Umar from Bahri University School of Management Science. Uh, first of all, allow me to thank the honest teachers for giving me this nice opportunity to stand in front of you to pull out my idea about a uh, very essential and discussable topic or so called change. But first of all, before I enter to the change, let me to talk about a little bit of this. So for three previous or three or four previous days, 
Uh, when I keep coming here, I guess I found a little bit of people they are participating. The same people, for example, that they, we have a lot of people here, but some of them they are still afraid. They are still afraid to grab the mic, and I don't know what's going on. So what I would like to mention that, for example, we are coming here not for showing off. We are coming here not for speak English fluently, but we are coming here as a matter of practice. As a matter of practice, no more. And uh, whenever we have get a teachers, teachers, their jobs, it is not corrections, but it is command. They're, they are going to, to, to mention something after your speech, but they will not correct directly. So what I would like to mention that, for example, we have get a fear and fear and success it will not go together fear and change itself it will not go together so unless to be well confident so what i would like to mention that to have more persistence to have more encouragement more persistence more encouragement self-motivation you are going to be good by the way regardless of other limitation that other may place on you so you are good or not you are speak english fluently or not just come out and tell us you're right here it doesn't matter so just we are like to listen to you right here no more uh a lot of people they know that they know how to speak english very well you know they are articulate speakers but unfortunately they have a shock they have you know a little bit fear to fail or fear to mention for example grammatical mistake or they maybe will not contextualize sentences as it is they are fearful of something but i told you that move the fear out regardless about other people telling about you because you will be the person that you want to be it, just by practice if you want to be someone practice that who you want to be otherwise somebody may grab it up the things that you want to be okay so we are here just for practice as a matter of practice because teachers they knew everything better than us they talked about the change it is enough than us it is not as a matter of giving freely an idea but as a matter of practice just as a matter of sharing because we would like to enhance our english we would like to develop our english no more so Yes, I invite you, I hope that, to see a new participants, a new faces. Um, so, by, by getting back to our, what so called, um, topic, change, right? So, change, uh, I think a lot of people, they define that change, it is moving from level to another. Moving from things to another things but it is not important to be better right so there is negative change and positive change okay moving from steps to another steps but we are climbing and we are crying and we are asking to move from the better steps not body steps so if you ask someone for example in ancient time before five or fifty years ago seventy years ago and right now there's a big difference that means there is a change before 70 years ago our grandmothers our grandfathers they are living in very satisfied life they are living in very uh, you know uh, what so-called luxury life for example but after that there is something wow happened so this is kind of change change but it is a negative change and nowadays we need positive change but it is not an easy what we need it we need for example um encouragement we need the, the yo's we need your enthusiasm your imagination so we need your the, your positive thinking because nowadays it is very easy to be negative but it is very difficult to be positive so positivity really but you know the negativity can crow our mind as we are cities so we are thinking negatively unfortunately and am i on the visual sometimes voices stand on my head to, they told me that you are not qualified you are doing nothing don't stand in front of the people to talk about something but i said stop don't talk to me 
Sometimes I stand on myself because voice in my mind they tell me that you are equal nothing you are not qualified enough to talk about something but i will start on myself and say stop stop doing that we have got dreams so how could we achieve our dreams it is not an easy life it is not a casual life it is serious business so unless to be a serious man so as to change to the better otherwise you will not change and everybody need change so how could we change? So if you if 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 you listen to your voice, which is that in your in your, for example, mind, you will not change. If you give up your dreams from first yard line, you will not change. Because some people, when they found any obstacles in front of their face, they may give up their dreams. They will give up their goals. We should have to have set up our goals clear goals and meaningful purpose so as to achieve our dreams with so-called change we need to change for better but some people they give up their dreams just for first line i, I will tell you some, some examples if if you are getting inside the home you say that today i don't want anybody anybody to bother me i don't know i don't want any for example a noise then somebody knocked on the door more than one minute he keep knocking on the door you can't imagine he's still live knocking on the door he said what's wrong with you you can get out for him right you can get out for him to know what's going on but some people knock on the door just two knocks on the door and said maybe nobody inside and he may left he may left the door this he needs persistence you need encouragement if you are feel to stand again in your feet because failure it doesn't mean no success failure it doesn't mean no success and if somebody said to you, you are failure sometimes you are a failure in things and you are one successful person in another things so that's why failure it doesn't mean no success you can fail sometimes and failure is the way of success and 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 really these places so-called sudanese research it is a great place i hear about it a lot uh, when I was graduate from university, I would like to sit for IELTS exam. Uh, first of all, I think about uh, what so-called scholarship. I would like to make, uh, for example, uh, MBA outside. Okay? So, um, uh, okay, it doesn't matter because uh, the chairman said, that, you know, the time is against us. I don't want to prolong my speech more than what I've said. Uh, I will give chance for other people and thank you very much indeed. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for your speech. Uh, this, as simple as it is, what do we need to change in Sudan? Okay, what do we need to change in Sudan for the next period? Okay, yeah. welcome. Good evening, everyone. My name is Abubakar Mohamed Adam. According to your question, what do we need to change? I have a simple and short answer for this. What we need to change is the people like this the people and the children to make us better and to improve our life in everything and to aware aware us from something we didn't know about it and to take us from the dark to the light thank you so much and the others thank you so much thank you for the opportunity uh, good evening guys, uh, according to my special consideration that I can define change, uh, for me it's meaning to do something, it's a different way, uh, it's a different way, it's uh, maybe uh, different facilities. Yeah. What do we need to change in Sudan? Yeah, you mean that, uh, that, that the behavior that must exist in us too? Yeah, everything. Yeah. Yeah. For me, uh, what? Uh, the, yeah. What do I? What? What the? It seems that. Uh, I want. Yeah. Uh, firstly, change need the uh, courage. By the way, uh, for example, when we protest for the first time against this regime, uh, we uh, maybe blame our courage first 
in the first beginning of revolution for example you uh, find the people gathering and uh, waiting for someone to shout and then they will shout uh, after him and that means this briefly is depend on theory for example and even if you look at the uh, strike here inside the strike uh, that the people they facing the police and they facing the killing and they, that means that they, 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 they have kind of courage in, in, in themselves. What we uh, need to change, we need to change every single foundation. We need to reform every single foundation. For example, we need to change uh, the foundation of health, even the political system itself, it needs a kind of reform. We, uh, we, we, uh, we, uh, maybe we are depending on a uh, very, very old foundation, very old political foundation, and that needs maybe a real change and we, it needs a real stand. Maybe the, the, the difficult period is the period after we are. Uh, maybe success in our strike. It, it needs every every single human who share in this strike to, to to give his effort, to give his, his effort for his country in order to make change. For example, uh, me as a delegate and graduated from uh, that sector, uh, this country. My, uh, my 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 knowledge that inside my mind and need my uh, to, to to exert my physical effort and my mental effort honestly for for, for this country and you as me as well yeah. everyone everyone in in, in in this field he must begin with his with uh, himself to to, to make it change in his in his uh, aspect yeah yeah and that's my share and, and i do thank sudanese research and platform for giving me this precious um, very nice opportunity and thank you so much and i hope to join you more and more and i hope for this uh, club to be permanently until we uh, keep our our um, demands that mean uh, civil government and those good places. Thank you so much. Uh, these people uh, they, uh, summarize in this, their speech. Like, the first one said that we, uh, we want uh, awareness. So and this is the most important point. So to be aware, that means you're going to change everything. You're going to do things in the right way. So we need awareness. And he said that you need to be a, for example, you need to be uh, brave. So that is courage, right? So if you're okay, you're gonna change. So that's it. Okay, thank you very much for participants. Uh, I think you added a very good point uh, regarding what we need to change. And uh, I really uh, feel pleasure in my heart that uh, I have my colleague from University of Bahrain, he participated. Uh, thank you for participating. Uh, I didn't know him, but he said, I'm from University of Bahrain. So really, we need such a kind of activities from teachers uh, of universities. And uh, the topic is regarding Sudan and what is going on in Sudan. This is a very contextualized type of uh, topic. Uh, hopefully, we hope that tomorrow, Negotiation, negotiations with the Transitional Military Council and uh, forces of for, uh, change and freedom will start and will resume. So the question is very clear. What do we want to change after civilian-led government came into the, in the, in the, in, in the arena? Okay. So for example, you have something called um, national service. So national service is a very big problem for, for somebody who graduates from universities. So you graduate from university and uh, for example you're a doctor or a teacher 
you you end up your life just uh, serving the country in the military. So why? The question is why. So we need change. Everybody who is specialized in something, you have to do your national service in certain type of specialization that's yours. So as to give service to the Sudanese communities and citizens, and at the same time, you're going to get experience. So we need to change in this sector. We need change in education. We have to look back at educational system, curriculums, the ways of teaching, training teachers, we need change in health. We need change and change and change. So chances are yours, right, actually. So, yeah. There is in the name of Allah, the most merciful and the most compassionate. May Allah is peace, mercy, and blessing be open. There is please thank you for teachers for this opportunity. And thank you for everybody is around here. And about the topic exactly, it is it is a very uh, wonderful topic, which is change. Um, the things that we have to change in our country exactly in Sudan here, the uh, very thing we have to change it is uh, uh, Congress of the military. Burhan, Hibiti, all those people we have to change. Because those people, they are not developed, they are not uh, like qualified, and they are not develop our country. That's why we have to change those people first. And the second thing that we have to change, it is uh, like the way that we apply at the university. Exactly for the year whom they are studying secondary school, after they graduate from them, and the way that they apply at the university, I think it, it, it is bad. Why? Because you are go you're, you're gonna choose like lots of colleagues. And at the same time, you have to study just one, one quarter. You have just one design and you apply for more than more than three. And this is it's not good also. Just the things that we have to change it is you have to study the things that you want to study. You do not have to like have many 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 uh, many options. And the second thing also it is the way that we apply for a job. For example if if you haven't got a mediator in our country, you are not going to get a job. And this is also something bad. We have to like change this thing. And thank you. Thank you so much. So, uh, you said that the most important thing, yeah, the most important thing is you should be at uh, wait to, uh, I think that uh, you desire in, right? So that is very important point because you're going to be if you do something that you want it, so you're going to be successful, you're going to be uh, great in your field. So this is what uh, Germany does. Thank you very much indeed for the second chance. Uh, what, what I would like to say is that, like staying here, Sabina, Sagatat Masagata Sabina, we are here to stay. That means this is the biggest change that's happening during this revolution. Why? Because this sit-in is going to raise the awareness of people of what's going on and what has been done by the previous regime and all the atrocities that has been occurred in our lives and in our country. And this is going to bring about real change because this is the chance where Sudanese people are being unified. The unification of Sudanese people nowadays is happening now. Because you find people from every background, from different places, all over the country, they are gathering here and they are discussing and addressing the roots of our problems. And these roots cannot be stemmed out. We cannot solve this problem unless we sit together and discuss this and address the roots of this problem and everyone understands what their duties are and what their rights are. So that when we leave this place, we put in our minds that we have done such things here in the uh, military headquarters and we are going to transform these things to where we live. For example, some people are going to go to their city somewhere else and what they are going to take with them is the discussions that are taking place nowadays and what you hear now because all these things during all this time are going to wait on your mind. Okay, and the longer this sit in is going on the better it would be because this is for the benefit of the people that's why sagatat ma sagatat 
have been now. That means we are here to stay as long as possible so as to discuss and address the roots of these problems. And this is the change that's taking place actually here in this uh, country. And uh, the second thing is that we need to change everything that was going on during the previous regime. Because these things, everything that we have seen during our lives for the 29 years, I am 29 years old, and seeing that all my life I spent it on the, the previous regime. Everything supposed to be changed from from A up to Z. Everything has to be changed. Okay, we cannot talk about this today, not tomorrow, but for a long time. Thank you very much, indeed. Thank you so much uh, for the newcomers that they have come. Uh, that uh, the question we have only one question. So what do we need to change in Sudan? Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna come to you. Just the uh, part of it here. Okay. One of you, one of you. Okay. Good okay. evening. Uh, change is a big wave. But we, when we talk about change, the big change comes from the small steps of change. When we want to define change, it's not doing things, uh, uh, doing things, uh, uh, yeah, yes, it's not great things. The small steps of change, when we change our idea, ideas, our visions, uh, our behavior, uh, uh, we can change our life, we can change our community, we can change our country, we can change the humanity. The change is come from small steps. Thank you. Thank you so much. Gentlemen over there. Welcome. I think that we Sudanese need to change the way we think or our way of thinking. It's very important to do so. And we also need to raise the awareness and make others aware of things they have never been aware of before. And we also need the educational system based on the international standards. Now, you can see the classrooms, right? They're the same, they're as old as the old um, classrooms before, right? They're as old as the old classrooms before, right? There's not any progress or development, right, happening in education, right? Nowadays, there are many uh, countries depending on um, teaching using technology. Um, and uh, they teach in a very different way compared to the Sudanese uh, educational system. So we Sudanese need to get teachers ready first of all by making teachers subjected to workshops in which they will be taught about how to uh, teach using technology and from then on they will be able to teach using technology. That's something very important because as for you as a teacher when you travel outside you will have difficulties dealing with the other educational systems because they're way different than ours. And that's, uh, in my point of view, it's a very important thing to do. So the others? Hello, everybody, again. What 
what I'm going to say that in the, my point of view, the change, there is a, my other thing, the other say, the change, if we want to change, the firstly, we are changed by ourselves first. Then, we change to the others. As we are, the change which we are going to say that, are the, the actual game. This game, 